What's up guys, Hongli in here for OG Fitness and in today's video, I want to talk about the secret to fat loss. Um, well, it's not much of a secret, but I think this is the most important thing that, um, that, you, have to get, that you have to understand, okay, if you're going to lose weight successfully. Now, I'm a personal trainer, right, for those of you guys who don't know. Uh, I also practice judo, that's my main thing. I'm essentially a grappler, that's what I specialize in. And I'm also 40 years old. Yay. <laughs> but anyways, um, what I mean by that is that, you know, I train, I train a lot of people. And you can tell, like, the difference between the ones who are going to succeed and the one who, who, who won't is just a matter of consistency, right? And here's the thing. Usually, right now, right, I'm in uh, Montreal, Quebec, uh, Canada, and it's summer, right? So... What happens during the summer is that pretty much uh, the gym, gym memberships go down. People don't come work out anymore because, you know, it's nice outside. They have a lot of barbecues. They go on vacation, whatnot, you know, so they stop working out. So then the ones who ha usually it's funny because it's always the ones who have the most weight to lose that tend to at this at this period like kind of drop off, you know, like things get in the way all of a sudden, they don't feel like it, they have more activities with family and blah, 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 blah. And then after that, they come, usually they come back around September, right? You know, and they start getting back into it slowly. After that, you know, September, October, November, boom, then you have the holidays. So that goes to shits again because, you know, during the holidays, they're all eating like pigs and getting fat and having all sorts of, uh, um, what do you call it? work um work parties you know office parties uh with friends with family you know for the holidays and after that boom january comes again now they're fat as fuck and then january comes and it's new year new me type of you know same usual bullshit and then they try really hard you know they think oh yeah i gotta get ready for summer ah. and then you know they they're good for about two three months or so and then after that summer summertime comes around and the same thing repeats itself right so then year after year, it's always the same bullshit. So the key really to, 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 to losing weight and to getting fit or in shape or to getting the, the body that you want, now depending where you start, is super consistency. You have to be really super consistent in the way you eat and in the way you work out. You, you can't just work out, for example, uh, you know, three months here, stop for two months, start back again, do another two, three months, stop another fucking two, three months, because like you're never gonna get anywhere. And then after that, like it, it plays on your motivation too, because if you don't see results, you're always asking, you think like, oh, maybe I'm doing something wrong or maybe the approach isn't good. So I'm going to change approaches and stuff. But really, it's not, it's not that you're doing anything wrong. Well, you are, but it's not necessarily with the way you eat or the way you exercise, but it might be, but it's more because you always fucking stop. <laughs> so if you always stop, you're not going to get anywhere. It's, it's, it's as simple as that, you know? So that's, that's the main thing. That's really the main thing. Like consistency, like, and I'm talking about super consistency, right? Like, I mean, you got you to gotta go to the gym and, and be more active. Like at least, at least four times a week, man. You know? Like I work out about six, but I mean, you know, I'm, it's the way... Um, it's the way I'm built too. I mean, I've, I've, I've built up to this point and also it actually fits my, uh, psychology and my physiology to, to work out that much. I'll talk about that in another video. It's something super interesting that I'm actually uh, studying right now. But, um, to get back to what I was saying, yeah, you gotta be super consistent, man. And it takes a minimum, like depending on where you're starting, how fat you are and how much experience and how much muscle you have, it could take between a year or two. You know, even more like, uh, but if you're, if you're really consistent, yeah, man, you know, like a year, two years and you change, you know, you'll change, you'll definitely change. But if you're not able to be consistent for like a year or two, okay, at least a year, then you'll never get what you want. Like you could kiss that, you know, six pack or losing weight or being fit, whatever. It's, it's bullshit. You're not gonna, you ain't getting it. There is no such thing. 12 week transformation, this and that. Like, yeah, 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 whatever. Like it, that, that's temporary and you might be able to lose. And I've had clients who lost a lot of weight in 12 weeks, but then they gained all of it back because, you know, once again, it's a consistency thing, right? You can be 
And I'm talking about long-term consistency. I'm not talking about like fucking uh, one month, two months, three months. I'm talking about like a fucking year. Minimum, minimum. Then after that, boom, year two, year three, year four. And, and then after that, you get to, you know, you get the body and, uh, that, that you want. And uh, yeah, so that's it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know what you think below. What do you think is the most important thing uh, beyond, you know, super consistency? If you guys agree or not, you know, I'd like to hear your thoughts. So that's it for this one, and I'll see you guys in the next one. So if you like this video, like it, share it, and um, yeah. Oh, I figured out something that I'm going to do because I want to make more videos, um, you know, me showing exercises in the gym and shit like that. But the problem is when I made videos, okay, like I didn't have the, uh, the audio suck that I like, man, you know, like I, I'd have to buy like this big ass microphone and stuff like that attached to my phone or a better camera. So until I get to that point, what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to film stuff that I do in the gym and then I'm going to edit it at home. I, I got to figure that out and just talk over the video and explain to you guys what I'm doing. Because when, if I try to do it in the gym, it's so goddamn noisy. You guys, it's shit audio and it's not, it's not, it's not pleasant for, for you guys to, to listen to. So I'll get that done for you. Right. And uh, if you want any type of exercise that you want me to like show you guys how to do correctly, just let me know in the comments and uh, I'll do my best to to get that out as fast as possible. All right, guys, that's it for this one. Peace.